Above all other risks that nature can throw at us, the one that comes most regularly and has the most pronounced effect on the extinctions of species is gearing up right now. The magnetic pole shift is the most important natural science item you can attempt to share with someone. It's not that thing you heard happen 700,000 years ago, and it doesn't take thousands of years to unfold. What you should learn from this video is that these shifts happen about every 12,000 years, and they happen fairly rapidly. One is in the process of hitting again in many of our lifetimes, and this is a major problem for our planet, more specifically, the species living here. Let's begin with the occurrence rate and cycle. The last major shift was Gothenburg, about 12,000 years ago, same time as the Younger Dryas cold snap. It was tremendously disastrous for the Americas, which is one of the reasons they had to relatively rediscover this area in the latest age of Earth. They have even found a miniature half-cycle version between Gothenburg and now, and they find it elsewhere in history. In fact, the half-cycle event before Gothenburg is fairly well pronounced. It's called Helena Pauli, and it was about 17 to 18,000 years ago. Before that, the Lake Mungo magnetic excursion struck at the last glacial maximum. It was tremendously hard-hitting on Europe and Asia, which was also hit hard by the previous cycle, the Mono Lake excursion. The Mono Lake excursion and the one before it, Le Champ, are often studied together due to there being several key core samples covering that date range. Le Champ was tremendously impactful on nearly the entire world. Le Champ was indeed probably the worst such event of the last 100,000 years, with several of the large fauna disappearing during the event. Before that, we have one around 60,000 years ago, recorded pole to pole, especially in Greenland and the Vostok cores from Antarctica. So without even covering several other known events before that, we can already confidently say no, this is not the event that happens hundreds of thousands of years apart. The cycles and half-cycle events in the last 60,000 years show rapid flips of the field, much different than the thousands of years commonly believed. We are 12,000 years since the last one, we are due again, and it's happening. In the year 2000, NASA told us we were down 10% in the magnetic field since the 1800s, and that number was updated just 10 years later by the newer ESA swarm mission to being down 15%. It means we went from losing about 5% of Earth's magnetic protection per century to 5% per decade, and that has been matched by a physical shifting of the magnetic pole locations. By now, 12 years after the ESA swarm update, we are likely down about 25%, and with a minor acceleration reported in the Pacific sector in 2017, we are likely losing about 1-2% to of Earth's field every year. These events can happen in less than a human lifetime, so we're way beyond that range now and in the danger zone for these rapid flips to hit their peak, which will peak at a hundred times faster acceleration than we have now. While current descent timelines put us about one to two decades away, nobody knows when that next rapid shift will occur and when it does, we'll have just months until the end. This matters because what was once an innocent question has turned into a terrifying reality. The impact of magnetic changes on the climate and other geophysical phenomena is profound. This is because the magnetic field modulates the energy taken in by the Earth from cosmic rays and solar radiation. The awareness of the climatological impact now has started to make major waves in the community. It has been shown that evolutionary paths have been less random and more tied to major changes in the environment tied to these magnetic changes. And most recently, the best in the world teamed up in the world's top geophysics journal to firmly stamp the existential danger of these events. Magnetic pole shifts take out species and pound the population of the ones that make it. With a weaker magnetic field, larger solar flares pose an even greater risk than they already do, which is a substantial risk, and for many more reasons than just the weather. In a heavily cited compilation of the information, this article of mine was published in PI last year. It's the climate, the volcanoes and earthquakes, the navigational disarray of species relying on the magnetic field, taking a toll on the biosphere of the planet from the lowest levels of the food chain. The radiation and geomagnetic changes present physiological stress in creatures 
and psychological distress in the highly complex human brain. Not to mention, when the protective field is lost, the sun and solar storms will easily take out our technological age. These six stresses, including that new one our electrified age has created, are the reason why the biosphere is hit. The climate is shifting, food chain wobbling, and all while high radiation pounds the species of Earth. This is no small matter. This is our way of life and possibly our species as a whole. It is a cyclical event, happens regularly, it's due to happen again now, and it's happening now, and it presents a major risk to the species of this planet. These three items comprise the pillars of the most important information about the Earth you can share with anyone. We have added the new stressor with our lights and screens and beeps and machines, and it's all coming to an end very soon. Learn more about this at the links below the video in the description box. Subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow for the daily show. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.